your position here. Okay. Say my name now. Uh -huh. And then spell it for us. My name is William Carpenter, W-I-L-L-I-A-M-C-A-R-P-E-N-T-E-R. -L -L also known as Injun Billy, I-N-J-U-N-B-I-L-L-Y. And you're the uh, Sergeant at Arms here for Hoopa Valley, a tribal elder, is that correct? Yes, sir. And you are aware that we are filming this full broadcast? I'm aware of that, sir. I think we'll start off with that statement. Tell me the language and how is it related to other tribes throughout the country? Well, our language is related, closely related to the Eskimo and the Navajo, which is Ath Athabascan dialect. That's, um, how about if we say the, As the, the dialect is close, so we'll just reverse that, say the language first, and then it's closely related to Alaskan and Navajo. It's closely related to the, the Alaskan and Navajo. And what is the language again? It's Athabascan. Our Hoopa language is Athabascan. Throughout the years, we've lost some of the language. If you were to put a percentage on it, what would be about the percentage of the language that has been lost? I would say the percentage would be about 60 to 70 percent. How important is language to your tribe? Well, at one time, the language was very important because, like I stated before, that as far as our, as far as our culture goes, the language was number one as in our culture. There was an elder who once told you a statement that the language meant what? The language was meant for, for a purpose, like maybe if you went to the traditional dances and you were, you were asked to do prayers for the dances and things like that, and, and it was always, always accepted by the person to do, do the prayer for the dances which is like uh, getting the world back in balance. We're hoping we'll let this car pass. Hmm. There was a Hoopa elder that once uh, stated that language was number one for the people because it was identity, it was the culture. Can you perhaps maybe rephrase that for me, um, stating that language was the number one most important thing to our people. I would, that, that's, that's very good. Uh, the language was our number one and for our people. Why was it lost? Well, I, I've stated why our, the reason our language is being lost is no one, no one is really interested in other than our language class, which we have, and there's hardly anyone that's interesting in coming to our our classes. But I, I, as one person, I'm wishing that these persons that would come to our classes would be our our tribal leaders of our cultural dances, which would be a plus for the dances in themselves. There is a revival of sorts of the language because you are conducting classes here on the, the, the on land, aren't you? Yes. Why is it so important for you to pass on to the young people this language? Well, I think it's it's important that someone someone learn learns the language as far as a young person. And just like us when we were young, that's why we took grasp of our, our language and our culture. And that, as the elders used to say to us, even though 
me being elder right now, I would say if we'd, we'd pass this down to the others so they can pass it on to the others also. Here at Hoopa Valley, you were in close proximity to other tribes, but what was the difference? There was some commerce that was um, similar, there were uh, trade practices, but what was the distinguishing factor for your tribe? Well, the distinguishing factor was each, each tribe has their own, own ways, but we still have a culture that we all participate as in one, like the Yurok, the Keruk, and Hoopa all together, depending on where the uh, cultural part was being, being held. The Yurok the were just miles apart they shared a different language, Yes, they're approximately about 11 miles north of our reservation. But there were common language um, descriptions between different tribes so that you could communicate, is that correct? Yes, there were some, some, some words, you know, like greetings and things like that. Can you give us some examples of maybe either colors or things that, that the Indians saw? They needed to have a word for it or to describe. Sure. Uh, for instance, we had the color red, which was Selenahuan because it looked like blood, the color of blood. 